Last class, we talked about how to detect whether the welding of this line is correct. What about this class is the software protection board. How to connect and how to activate the software after the connection is completed. First of all, let's take a look at the material prepared on our desktop. Here, it's the 14 string soft packed lithium battery pack. Here is the welded and checked wiring. This is the total electrode of the battery pack. In order to facilitate a later operation, we have welded the total electrode to a pinch in advance. And here, it is the total positive electrode of the battery pack. Temperature control line, power board, Bluetooth and our BMS touch screen. And our multimeter and our charger. And then the charger. We are also for easy operation. We connected the negative and positive electrodes of the charger in advance and laid it out. Next up, let's talk about our software version. His specific wiring operation process. Oh, the first step. First of all, you put one of our software accessories, such as our temperature control. It's standard. Then our power board is. This is optional. Oh, and then in order to facilitate our demonstration. We let us touch the display screen with my BMS this time. First of all, insert the accessories into our software protection board. And let's go. We, LL connect the B negative, blue lines of our protection board, the total negative electrode of our battery pack. Our next step is to weld the wiring of our battery pack, and insert the protective board of our software. At this time, you can see our display screen, including our power board, is not actually on. That is to say, this board is actually unable to discharge normally at this time, because it still lacks one and lacks one. Activate the process and we can measure the multimeter. We dig the table to our Omega file. Let's click on the lead. Well, you can take a look at this time. This multimeter is normal. Let's first measure the B negative of this board and our P negative pole. We can take a look at this point. The board is not conductive. That is to say, this board cannot carry out normal discharge at this time. He needs to be activated. Let's talk about our activation. There are two ways. The first is our charging activation. We can use the charger to activate the software's protective board. The second is our power board activation. First of all, Let's talk about our first way of charger activation. This is what we just said. This is the head of a charger we made. This is the negative pole of the charger. We put the negative pole of the charger, connect to a PT end of our protective board, then connect the positive electrode of the charger to the total positive electrode of our battery pack. At this time, we plug in the charger. As you can see, by charging this operation, then the protection board of the software is activated. After activation, we can unplug the charger. Of course, you can keep charging. At this time, the protection board has been activated. Let's demonstrate here. We protect the board. The second way to activate is our power board activation. First plug him. Pulling out. So let's take a look. Let's try again. One of our second activations is to use our circuit board to activate. We have an activation button on the circuit board. We just need to press it. You can take a look. Now it's activated. In the first step after our activation, the operation is to set up one of our protective panels according to one actual capacity and actual capacity of our battery pack. We can set up through our Bluetooth, or PC or our BMS touch screen. If the capacity setting is not accurate, it may lead to the sock remaining power of a later period. 